Today I felt a sense of happiness with a story I just heard. I watched the following video by Val Kilmer. We all have the capacity to be creative. We're all driven to share our deepest dreams and ideas with the world. When we think of the most talented creative people, they speak to us in a unique way. A phrase we often hear is, having a creative voice. but I was struck by throat cancer. After getting treated, my voice as I knew it was taken away from me. People around me struggle to understand me when I'm talking. But despite all that, I still feel I'm the exact same person, still the same creative soul. The soul that dreams ideas and stories constantly. But now I can express myself again. I can bring these dreams to you and show you this part of myself once more. A part that was never truly gone. Just hiding away. Kilmer lost his voice to a battle with throat cancer. That video was all Val Kilmer's voice, but synthesized by an artificial intelligence model. This is what technology is for. It is to improve the state of human existence. I am really happy that Val Kilmer got his voice back. This is truly fantastic. If you wonder why you don't see me right now, this entire script was generated by an artificial intelligence trained on my voice using a tool called Descript. Overdub. The work, the work that you just saw uh, from Kilmer it's better than the one that you just heard from me. Uh, clearly, the company has put an immense amount of effort and care into the intonation, the inflection, and the quality of the voice simulation. Uh, but what I did, I, I did with a tool called Descript, and I generated audiograms. And the audiograms, they look like, um, they look like this. <clears throat> So uh, this is, once you've uh, run an audiogram, you can click here. Kilmer lost his voice to a battle with throat cancer. That video was all Val Kilmer's. And that, that's what I showed you in the beginning. But the way that those get made is also very cool, and I'll show you that too. This is the Descript interface. I'll just do here. And you can see here, uh, this was the part one uh, that I showed you here. Come on, there we go. This is part one. Uh, this was part two. And I'm gonna try to do a quick demo for you. Uh, so I've made a comp, what they call a composition in Descript, I've made a blank one. And I'm just gonna do something very short because this, doing all of this is really taxing my computer. Um, check this out. Doing all of this is really taxing my Okay, now, who's the speaker? Well, it's, it's not me, I'm me, but we're gonna do uh, another version of me uh, here called Kent Wave 1. Now, what you'll notice is it is now uh, generating the overdub. I'm sorry, that's a little small, but that's what it says down here on the bottom right-hand side. And as soon as it's done, uh, we'll be able to listen to me, not me. Uh, check this out. Doing all of this is really taxing my computer. Doing all of this is really taxing my computer. I mean, seriously, that's just nuts. So, oh, look, we have fire. Uh, how did that happen? I'm going to go, let's go back to a happy color uh, for the rest of this one. Um, it's been an interesting day. Um, I could use some yellow in my life today. So that was it. That was the demo. So I just can't express enough how happy 
it makes me to see technology employed in this fashion. What I try to do, what I've always tried to do, is empower people with technology. And when I see examples like this, it's, it's deeply inspiring to me. And uh, I don't want anyone to listen to the people out there that who say, oh, this technology is bad. It's going to do bad things. People are going to copy and impersonate people. Yeah, look, all technology has a positive and a negative, all of it. I'm optimistic that over the long run, humanity will trend to the positive side with the use of technology to improve human existence. Today was just a little thing that you should know about how that's happening.